Welcome to my loft apartment in Seoul. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Hermione. I live in Seoul and this is currently my apartment, but not for long because I'm about to move. So I thought it was time to do a very quick and simple apartment tour to show you guys where I've been living for the last, I don't know, 11 months. A little bit of backstory about this apartment. It is a loft apartment, but it's a one room. So it's kind of an all in one scenario. These apartments are really common in Korea and the prices do vary based on where you live, how modern the building is, how high up it is. This apartment has been so magical for me. It was my home when I first got here to a country that is on the other side of the world. So I really, really do appreciate everything about this apartment. Hey, just gonna pause the video here really quick and let you know a little bit more about today's video sponsor, which is Notion. You guys know that I've been using Notion for a really long time and recently I have been using it to track the progress with my apartment move and keep check of all of the things that I want to remember and Notion has been such a huge help to me and recently they just released Notion Calendar which has been a game changer for my productivity and managing my time so let me tell you a little bit more. When Notion Calendar was first announced I fangirled a little bit because I love using my calendar to time block and this is everything I've ever wanted. Notion Calendar makes it so easy to drag and drop all of your different events and schedules and just like with Notion you can work collaboratively with people and share your calendar and theirs. I love how seamlessly it works with the Notion app. As you can see here I'm adding my Hong Kong board to the Hong Kong events so I can access it really easily. One of the little touches I really like is that you can access Notion Calendar from the taskbar at the top of the screen and it will show you what you're working on, how long you have left and upcoming events. And there's also one for Notion as well for really quick and easy access. Notion Calendar is so easy to download and simple to install. So I recommend you go and check it out if you'd like to get organized yourself. So that's all about Notion. If you want to go download it for yourself, it's free. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I could not live my life without Notion. I do not say that half-heartedly. I use it every single day and I love it. Check it out if you would like. And with that being said, let's move on to this apartment tour. Okay, so this is the entryway to my apartment. You might remember I contact papered this entire door because it used to be blue and I didn't like it and I wanted it to fit with the rest of the apartment. As you come in, there's a little doormat and this is where we leave our shoes. This is one of the pieces of furniture we found on the street recently. It needs a little makeover, but just here for now. On the left-hand side, this is a shoe cabinet. This is really common in Korea. I'll tell you what's not common. There's usually a little area here and it's lower than the rest of the apartment and then you take your shoes off, but this one just goes straight into the apartment. So it's a bit different, but in here, it's a little messy. This is lived in, don't judge me well there we go that's the dog's harnesses mostly i just keep my shoes scarves accessories hats and then at the top we have all of the bedding and bath towels and stuff like that too and a little stray hair extension look at that Haley thinks that's so funny so i've left it there because i know she enjoys seeing it when she opens the door hey Bye bye. I do like that this comes with a full length mirror, but the lighting is atrocious over here. So anyway, that's the cabinet. I put my little green calendar up here. And the reason it's so far over is because the bathroom door slides to about here. So just got this on the wall for a little pop of color. On the other side over here, we have another cabinet. As you can see, I keep my bags and scarves on the door and inside the cabinet. Again, lived in. Here's all of mine and Haley's coat. And this is all cleaning supplies and like washing liquid and toilet paper rolls shoved out the way. In these drawers, I keep more things for cleaning, like bobblers for your sweaters and lint rollers. And this was tidy at one point, but it's not anymore. They've got this thing. I think this is for like hanging up scarves and maybe trousers. 
I don't know, I'm gonna close that. It might look like a lot of storage, but for a Korean apartment, it's not very much. Usually these loft apartments will utilize the under the stairs space and all of this will be cupboard, but mine is a kitchen. And with that being said, there's not much space in the kitchen either because under here, I have squeezed stuff in, but it's all plumbing. So it's not really usable space. It's okay, it's aesthetically pleasing, so I don't mind. <laughs> Let's talk about the kitchen, shall we? This is what it looks like. It's nice and compact, but it does everything that I need it to do. Over here next to the closet is a fridge. I don't really want to show you what's in here. Uh, okay, Let's, it's, it could be worse. <laughs> we need to clean that there's also a little freezer at the bottom and a washing machine here i've hidden the induction stovetop because i just like to cover it up during the daytime i got that little cutting board from ikea because it almost fits perfectly and it just gives me extra space to work on chopping vegetables and things so there's not a huge amount of counter space when i've got my air fryer thingy on the counter too up here i've got a little open shelf which is very cute i use this to put all my aesthetically pleasing things like my little mug collection, my toaster, picture of granny next to the booby mug. <laughs> And then I've got all of my saucepans and utensils and things and my little air fryer. This has been a lifesaver because I do not have an oven. Most Korean apartments don't. And this one just acts like the perfect little oven. It's got lots of different settings like a warming setting, toast, which I don't like to use because it does kick up a lot of smoke, baking, which has been great for making cakes and things. There's an air fryer setting. There's even a rotisserie setting, which I have not used, but it's there. This thing was a bargain. It was one of the best things I've bought for this whole apartment. Moving on, we have a little bit more storage under the stairs. These are empty shelves, which I found the perfect size boxes for from Daiso. I keep plastic bags in there and dog food in there. This cupboard is just, ah, food <laughs> and appliances. And then we have bowls and plates. Although this kitchen isn't the most perfectly planned or laid out, it is the perfect size for one to two people and I've really loved living here. I really, controversially, like those brown tiles. I know some people might not love them, but I think they're cool. They look really good with my pink appliances and uh, they give this place a bit of character. Oh, and this is the new addition to the kitchen. This is the butcher's block that I picked up yesterday off the street. We actually think it might be a tool bench or something like that. I'm gonna take this thingy off and maybe give it a sand but it's going to be great for our new house because we don't have much worktop space so we can put the little air fryer on top of this or we can use it for cutting things but yeah usually it's not here though and you can see the whole sitting room from this angle so i will insert a clip of what that looks like so you can see but you know what it's not too intrusive i had thought about putting a butcher's lock here earlier and i just never decided to do it so yeah on this side is the bathroom but we'll get to that at the end because that's kind of boring moving on this is the sitting room which is pretty spacious i have really loved having so much space in here i entertain my friends in here a lot we've had parties we've had dinners had sleepovers it's been really nice and now two doggies live here and think that the couch belongs to them yeah it's okay you're cute i love you so much you can have it. The couch is from Ikea. It's the Soderham and it's the most comfy couch I've ever had. I actually had one of these in the UK too. I've kept the cushions pretty minimal because someone's a little fluffy and I don't want to deal with lint rolling every day. So that's why it looks a little bit more bland than usual. I put up this tapestry on the back wall here because behind that there's a door which is like a service door for some of the pipes and it just looked pretty ugly. So I covered it up with that and this is a little sitting area. We've got a glass coffee table a little poof a rug which never lies flat and drives me mad but yeah all in all it's pretty comfy moving swiftly on this wardrobe was here when i moved in and it gave me great turmoil to figure out where i was going to put it it has been on every wall and in every space in this room and it's fine it's great for storage. I ended up putting this blind on it so that I could cover up some of the clothes. And I'm just excited to not have to take this with me. That being said, 
I need some closet space in my new place, so I will miss it a little bit. In here, we keep all of our clothes and t-shirts, skirts, things like that. And down the side, I'm not gonna show you down the side because it's the dog stroller. Okay, go on, I'll show you. It's the dog stroller and the wheels and the vacuum cleaner because that's the only place I can find to put it. We are starting to get a little tight for space in here, but that's what that looks like. My favorite section of my apartment by far is this desk. I love it so much. It is just perfect. I keep all of my makeup in the drawers. I use it for work. I use it to do my hair. I really like how I've decorated it. I brought one of these posters from home and a couple of them I found in Korea too. And it's just, I don't know, I really love the way I've styled it. I love the big plant. It's just a really cozy little desk space. This lamp that I've got here, I actually found it by the trash and I rescued it. Look, if it's free and I can make it clean, I'll take it. <laughs> A lot of the furniture in here, like this mirror, the desk and the chair were from today's house or the gym. O house whatever you want to call it it's a korean website where you can buy all kinds of furniture and decor items i don't think you can shop on it from outside of korea though which is very sad but um everything on there is a very good price in the little corner i've got another lamp snoopy and this calendar i'm obsessed with these calendars where you have to change them every day i don't know why do i change them every day no but i like the look of them <laughs> and then on this side of the apartment is all of my storage and a little table and chairs and some stuff for the new house which is a little messy hold on there we go <laughs> the storage units are from o house again there's two of them i thought it would be nice to make them look really long so they can take up the space i use this to store all of my accessories and jewelry some extra trousers all of my work stuff and camera equipment hey kona hey I can't store you in there, you're too big. And then that one's Haley's, and then we got some other stuff. Oh. Above here, I put the blind down and we'll put the projector on in the evening, which is really cozy. And on the other end over here, I just have this little section with a print and a lamp. This thing, this is a diffuser I got in a white elephant gift swap at Christmas. It smells so good. And it's my little Google home. I like to talk to her. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Seoul today? Today in Seoul, expect a high of three and a low of minus eight. Oh, okay, there we go. And then this is the table and chairs where we have our dinner. I like that I put it next to the window so I can kind of see outside and people watch while I'm eating. I've got this mirror back here, which is kind of a little bit obstructed, but when we move, it's gonna have pride of place. In the bedroom, it'll be usable again. And that lamp over there is another freebie I found. What can I say? I love picking stuff off the street like that what a bargain free 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 <laughs> anyway i really like that i've picked a glass table and glass coffee table because they did make the room feel a little bit more spacious even though it's quite large for a korean apartment it still can feel a little bit tight in here sometimes so it just feels more airy and spacious with glass this is the view from the sitting room into the kitchen upstairs we have the bedroom so let's go up there and take a look at what that looks like up here is the bedroom as you can see it's a little bit small that is a super single bed but I make it work. As you come up the stairs, this beam here has always been a big issue. My shoulder comes up here and then my head here. So it's, it's not the easiest, but I have enjoyed the fact that the space is really cozy. It kind of feels like a little tree house. Despite the blanket in the way, I love that you can see the view when waking up in the morning. I did put a tapestry up at the back to cover this cubby hole, but it became really, really difficult to use it as storage, so I did take it down pretty recently. But other than that, all my little DIY projects have been really cute up here. The bed frame was from Ikea, and I used this board on the back of it to make a headboard. I managed to find a bedside table that fit perfectly in this little corner. Obviously, we've got to have a Snoopy. I got him in the Snoopy Garden on Jeju Island. And this little rug was from a store in Busan. They hand make these, I believe. A really cool store. I would love to take you guys there and show you what it looks like. But I did have a video of it on my TikTok if you want to check it out. 
I can keep all of my pajamas in the drawers and then up top I've just got this little lamp that was one of the first things I bought for this apartment and this print which is actually wrapping paper from Oliver Bonus flown all the way in from the UK. There's not much to tell you about up here so let's head back downstairs again. Last but not least, this is the bathroom. There's not much to it, so let's just take a quick look. Over to the left here, we have the shower. I love this because it's an enclosed shower and that's not very common in Korea. It tends to be wet rooms that you see most often. I know it sounds really basic, but I also really like having this ledge to put all of my products. That's something I'm not taking for granted. I'm not gonna have it in the next place. And then the shower, I did replace the shower head. Sujin very kindly gave me this one. I really love this bath mat. I wish I had matching hand towels. I think that's my next project to get some red ones or pink ones, that'd be really cool. So for the next place, we can make it match. I have really enjoyed having a brand new sink, toilet, shower, set up it's been really lovely up here on this ledge i keep all the toothbrushes this little mirror covers the outlet here and it kind of covers that gap where these boards finish i just never got around to putting another little section here but it's okay in this corner i keep all the hair tools and our hair brushes and we put our perfumes and a few beauty products out on display here the cabinets have been incredible they're so great for space we've got all of our skincare and hair products Haley keeps her makeup in here it's so spacious i really really have enjoyed this as well and as you can see in the mirror if we spin around here i've tried to maximize the space i put two little sticky hooks up on the top here which have our tablet towels and headbands for the shower on here and then at the bottom i have my laundry basket this i scoured the internet for to make sure i could find one that fit perfectly in this corner and i really like that i found a wooden one and it was pretty inexpensive i also keep some body cream and this glossier bag up here this has all of my travel minis in it so that's what is on the little shelf here anyway that's the bathroom not really much to report but yeah, that's it. So that is my apartment. I really have loved living in this space. It has been the perfect place for me to ease into my new life in a completely different country. And whilst I have loved living here, it's been a little bit more pricey than I should have been paying for an apartment of this size. And that was partially because the year before I was living with my family, I was living in Airbnbs that my work rented for me, some of which were a bit stinky. So when I moved here, I decided, hmm, I think I will have one one year in an apartment that's a little bit more bougie but the time has come to say goodbye and I'm going to move on to different things. I do want to make a video all about this apartment building and all of the amenities that come with it and tell you a little bit more about renting in Korea and like costs and rent deposits all of that kind of stuff so if you have any questions please leave them down below and I will talk about them in that video. As for this one it's just a little bit of a look around my apartment and see how I decorated it. So with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like these kind of videos, subscribe because I am going to be moving soon. I'm going to be redecorating another new place and it's a lot bigger. So um, that's going to be fun. On that note, I think it's time for me to sign out. So I will see you next time. I hope you have a great week. Bye.